Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my five favorite products from five of my favorite brands. This is a video I saw my friend Michelle Wong do, and I felt really inspired to do my own list with my own favorite brands, so I will link her video in the description box. Do check that one out as well after you are done this one, but I'm gonna start off, you guys, with a big, big brand. I know you guys love this brand, and that is Pat McGrath Labs. So Pat McGrath Labs has some show-stopping products, but five of them definitely make the list for the best ever, in my opinion. I'm gonna start off with the glosses. So the Lust Lip Gloss line is so good. If you love lip gloss, you're going to love this line because it's so lightweight, has a medium pigment impact, and has that really beautiful non-sticky shine on the lips. Like, game changer, right? There are quite a few I have, honestly, in my collection. These are three of them here. There's some in my purse. There's some all over the place. I feel like it's a tornado of less lip glosses. <laughs> This is a line I have to physically stop myself from buying every single one. I'm just obsessed with them. So here are just a few. So Flesh Fantasy is on the far left. We have Dare to Bear in the middle. So you can see it's got just a glimpse of pink, but it's very, very sheer. And then we have that beautiful baby pink on the far right. And that one is called Prima Donna. The gloss impact is stunning. You can see that that's medium opacity right there, buildable to almost a full, but not quite. But I just love how these are so easy, beautiful colors, gorgeous and comfortable on the lips. Let's keep going with the second most favorite product from Pat McGrath Labs, and that is her concealer. This is actually one I discovered within the last year, and I'm super happy that I did. This is the Sublime Concealer. The shade that I have is L5. There's quite a shade range with this, but this is a multi-purpose product that really does a good job of going underneath the eye if you wanna just cover some dark circles. You can also cover acne. It is a full coverage product, but the light weight of this formulation makes it seem like it's more of a medium coverage, even though it's not. So it packs a beautiful pigment punch, but feels almost like nothing. I do think it's worth checking out from the brand. The doe foot is kind of like a slight slant. I think because of her extensive shade range, there's going to be a shade for most folks. So it's also something that is amazing. We love the inclusiveness of her brand, that's for sure. Next, I have to talk about my favorite lipstick from her, and I was stuck between the Lux Trance and the Matte Trance. Both of them are beautiful formulations, the Lux Trance being much more creamier, and then the Matte Trance being like a creamy matte. And I had to pick the Matte Trance line because it's such a beautiful matte formulation. It makes a non-matte friendly gal like myself enjoy it. <laughs> I am the one that runs from matte lipsticks. I can't stand them. This is one that is creamy that doesn't even feel like a matte so it's just perfect for people like me and I guess if you love matte you'll love that it's much more comfortable as well and not super drying <laughs> so this is my favorite shade this is the shade Christie I am going to swatch it for you but this is actually my second Christie in my collection I did use up one completely this is in the like limited edition Divine Rose collection packaging. Normally it comes in a black lacquer bullet. So this is super, super beautiful. You can see here how much pigment this one holds. It's just like a solid, beautiful color. I absolutely love the packaging too. So you can see here how beautifully opaque that is as well. There really isn't much shine to it at all. It's just a gorgeous matte, but it just glides on the skin. So I absolutely love this one. This is my third favorite Pat McGrath product. My fourth favorite Pat McGrath product has to be her foundation. This is the Skin Finish Sublime Foundation, and my shade is Light Medium 9. So this is a medium coverage, buildable to full. It is a natural finish, has a slight radiance to it. It is so luxurious. You can see the gold labeling there, the glass frosted base. We have that black cap. It is so, so sleek and this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful foundation. Lasts all day on the skin as well. I just feel like it doesn't gather into lines. I have a dimple line that is fairly significant because I only have one on one side, and that's kind of my indicator. If it gathers in the dimple like within an hour, I'm like, guys, I have places to go. I have to look better for longer than an hour. So this actually fades on the skin over time very beautifully, but lasts a good eight to 10 hours on me, and I feel like it just looks beautiful. And I think that's all for Pat McGrath. I think that's the only thing. I can't think of anything else that would be great from her brand, except maybe her eyeshadows. 
<laughs> Number five is her eyeshadows. I feel like that's what she's known for the most. So her Mothership 10 Pan palettes, you guys, are a must from her line. Definitely a must try and definitely her best quality product from her whole line, in my opinion. I picked my very favorite palette because I do love Sublime. I think that's a lovely one. It's number two. I do love Divine Rose too, but this is my holy grail. This is Divine Rose 1. This to me is the palette that has the most wearable color story, I think, for like business professionals. If you are not allowed to wear like bold color, let's say, or you don't really feel comfortable doing so, or you know, you just want like the classic timeless look, this is the palette for you because it's beautiful, cool tones that are pink. We do have the fun Pat McGrath like spin, which is the duo chrome, which is right here. That's like a beautiful golden to pink. We do have her beautiful Blitz Astral shades that are those nice lightweight gel-like shimmers as well on the end. But this is a color story that I think everybody can wear like comfortably. And when it comes to Pat McGrath and her shadows, you guys, I would suggest save up for these 10 pans because these are the best quality. She also runs a ton of sales on her website. I always post them in my YouTube community tab. So make sure that you follow me for the sale alerts, but this is stunning, you guys. My favorite mothership palette right here. Next, let's chat about Dior. Dior is one of my favorite luxury brands, and I do think that they make some amazing makeup products, but these five are my favorite. So the first one is actually their Air Flash Foundation. This is like beautiful on the skin. The only thing I don't like about this is the aerosol and the container makes you run through this a little bit too fast for the price point. Just my humble opinion, but I do wish they made more of this. I wish that it was somehow a little bit better so that I don't run through it like water. This claims to be water resistant, although I don't douse myself in water <laughs> with this on, but it is a 12 hour foundation for sure. It just stays put and lasts all day long. Makes your skin look so beautiful. It is a medium coverage as well, natural glow. It just looks like you have healthy skin, basically. So this is super stunning. I love that I found this one. You guys actually recommended it to me and it has beat out so many foundations now. The shade that I have is 2N. Basically what I do is I shake this up and I actually just spray some either directly on the beauty blender or I just do it on the back of the hand a little bit and then take the beauty blender and apply directly. I don't put it directly on my face because I am way too terrified to do that. <laughs> but this is a beautiful one. Definitely check it out if you're interested in a Dior product. If we're talking about Dior, I have to talk about the mascara. This has been in my life for at least a decade. This is the Over Curl Mascara from Dior. This is one that they actually repackaged in the last couple of years, but this has been in my life forever. Basically, this is a mascara that has a really beautiful slight bend to the wand. It is probably about medium length when it comes to bristles, so it's not short, it's not super long, but it seems to grab all your lashes beautifully, gently lift them upward, separate, intensify. It just looks so, so beautiful. Almost like you're wearing falsies, but not like the crazy overgrown falsies that just look too much. They've made a couple colors in this now. I think there's a brown and a blue, but I always stick to my black because it is just my favorite. This is one, like I said, has been repurchased at least 10 times. I love this so, so much. A game-changing mascara for sure. I like the iconic overcurl better than the original Dior show. Product number three, one of my favorites, is actually a new one from Dior. It's definitely made the top five very, very quickly, and that is the Backstage Powder No Powder. You can see, you guys, that I have two shades in this. That's how much I love it. I have one shade to set my face. This is the shade 2N, which is too neutral, and then I have a deeper shade for bronzing. This is the shade 4N neutral. You can see here it has that gorgeous see-through packaging. I personally, I've talked about this in the past that I wish it was a little bit more luxurious, but you guys have made a really good point that this is really for makeup artists and they need to be able to pick up a shade very quickly without having to open stuff up. So when it comes to that and like runway shows, that makes so much more sense. So this is the setting powder. You can see it is very well loved <laughs> by me. It's slightly matte on the skin for sure. And it actually used to have the Dior 
label embossed in the powder, but you can see I've completely worn it right off. Sets your base makeup beautifully. It almost feels like nothing. It's just so lightweight, but so impactful. Like sets everything down so beautifully. Definitely one of my favorite powders of all time that, like I said, I had to add another one for bronzer. <laughs> this is what the powder used to look like before I, you know, gave it so much use, but has a beautiful pattern on the powder like that. And this also makes for a great natural looking bronzer. It's not super red, just looks like a beautiful natural tan on the skin. Next, I have to talk about the Glow Blushes. This is also a very recent favorite. These are the only two in the line and they're also from the Backstage Collection. So don't let the colors fool you in here. <laughs> So one looks incredibly vibrant, like almost like highlighter pink from elementary school. And then we've got this one. And this one looks almost a little bit too subtle, right? Like, is it actually going to show up even on the skin? But both of these are stunning. They both look like beautiful light blushes to your cheeks. Like they just bring light, but not in a shiny way. It's just like gleam kind of, but not sparkle. Oh, it's just so hard to describe. I'm showing you a heavily swatched hand here. You only need about two layers. So this is just showing exactly the shades here for you but these are so, so beautiful, honestly. I can't decide which shade I like more, which is why I'm like, I have to put both of them in. <laughs> Just looks super youthful on the skin, honestly. Like the entire backstage line is very glowy, very fresh, and these blushes do just that. For my number five pick, I was so, so tempted to grab one of the highlighter quads from the Backstage Collection as well. So that's like a very, very close number six. But I figured that these were a little bit better in the sense that you can get one shade that matches you perfectly. You don't have to buy four of them, if that makes sense. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizers, and this is product number five. So you can see here, this is a beautiful highlight, has some gorgeous pink, gold, interesting dimension to it and it is stunning on the skin. You can really build this up to make it look blinding or you can just keep it really subtle on the skin as well. You can see there's also a beautiful emblem kind of embossed in this powder. It's gorgeous you guys. I just love the outer packaging here. Very metallic silver but also bougie so I love that. So here it is on the skin. You can see it has a beautiful slight pinky glow to it. I think that's stunning. They also have quite a few shades in this line. This is product number five. The next brand we're gonna talk about is Tom Ford. This is a beautiful ultra luxury brand. So these five products are my favorites. When you're thinking about what do you wanna get from Tom Ford, you don't wanna waste your money because it's gonna be a hefty splurge. These are the five that I think you can feel totally safe and comfortable picking up because you're going to enjoy them. The first one has got to be one of his quads, plain and simple. He just has a very distinct, different formulation that's on the market. It's very, very shimmery, but glides over the lid, very lightweight and gel-like in nature. It still performs beautifully, whether you have mature lids or not, oily lids or not. You just have to prime your lids if you have oily lids. But if you have mature lids with texture and stuff like that, I find it doesn't bring attention to anything. I just think it does a great job of gliding over the lid, bringing some beautiful medium opacity shadow to the lid. So my favorite quad is Honeymoon. This is the one that I think is super, super flattering on so, so many people. It does come with two brushes on the bottom. I don't use them. <laughs> So they're gone, but this is a very beautiful like extremely flattering palette. I just feel like I don't know Everything is so so pretty you can see that first shade has a really gorgeous like pink glow Then there's like a brown kind of bronze We have that rich pink purple and then a deep purple at the end so so beautiful I always go back to this quad when I want to have like a special occasion look honestly it just doesn't let me down there are quite a few quads in his line now like he's definitely expanded that's for sure I think a beautiful combination is also nude dip if you want something a little bit more subtle and a little bit more cool toned but honeymoon here is my favorite and this is the very first favorite from the Tom Ford brand I do have to mention his lip colors and I'm so, so sorry. I have completely lost my lip color from him. That is my favorite. I don't know if it's just in a purse. I can't find it anywhere. It is the Tom Ford lip color in Indian Rose. This is a stunning, stunning shade. I actually am probably gonna have to repurchase it because I miss it 
and I lost it. <laughs> So this is a gorgeous lipstick too because it's very, very creamy, but very long lasting. And that's something that's a little bit harder to come by in a lipstick. I think that the comfortability is there, the creaminess and smoothingness is there, but you do have to worry when you think about creamy lipsticks moving around and transferring. This isn't a mask proof lipstick by any means, but it does have a staying power that I think is superior to other creamy lip formulations. Indian Rose is a gorgeous shade. Spanish Pink is a gorgeous shade. So there's a lot of options here. You can go very bold or you can keep it nudie pink friendly for every day. It's a very beautiful line. This foundation is one of my favorites as well. This is from Tom Ford. It is the Shade and Illuminate foundation. I really hope it's not discontinued. I will try to find it if it's not. But this is one that I got from Holt Renfrew actually. It's not from Sephora. I think it's actually at Nordstrom too. So I will link that if I can find it. The shade that I have is For Fawn. This is a stunning, stunning foundation. This one is a natural finish that leans slightly matte but it's just enough that it's perfect for me because I don't like a super matte foundation on my skin. I do prefer more of a dewy finish or a glowy or a subtle glow or a radiance to my skin. I don't want just like a flat matteness. That's just my personal preference. There's nothing wrong with it, but I was worried this was gonna be what this was and it really isn't that way. This is also a medium coverage foundation and it does have sunscreen in it. So that's also a nice little feature. <laughs> I do love how the packaging is super luxe and this one is pretty pricey, but I just love how the end result of this one just looks gorgeous on the skin. Comes with a very easy to use pump, so you can just pump out what you need. I do directly on the Beauty Blender. I blend it in and it just looks perfect. My next favorite Tom Ford item is his Skin Illuminating Duos. This is the one in Incandescent. I love this because I have used this like as a pair, a highlight and a blush or a blush topper. I don't use this one as a highlight. Obviously it's a little bit too dark for me for a highlight purpose, but I love how it has that really gorgeous kind of textured embossment into the powder. And they're very, very like creamy lightweight when you swatch them. Here are the shades here. They're super beautiful, like for spring, for summer. I wear this all year round. I absolutely love it. And it's lasted me so long. They just collaborate beautifully together. This is a gorgeous one too. So a definite check out product from this line. Product number five from Tom Ford that I absolutely love is actually his glow blonde, his glow bronzers. I actually love his glow blow. <laughs> Sorry. Product number five are his glow bronzers. This is in the shade number two Terra. This is a stunning product too, you guys. I absolutely love it. This is actually the mini. So there's a huge one that you can buy and then there's a mini. The mini is great because you don't have to worry about that crazy luxurious price point if you just wanna try it out. And then if you really are sold on the shade, you can buy another one later on. But this is a gorgeous one. I just love how it looks so like naturally tan, gorgeous on the skin, slightly matte but blends beautifully. It just looks like you've been kissed by the sun, but in a good way and like no skin damage. So you can see here how stunning it is. It has a touch of a red, which is like, I think a natural tan would have a touch of a red undertone to it, but it's still cool toned. So it just looks beautiful. I have used so many different brushes with this and it just blends out super well. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Bronzer in shade two, Terra. The next brand we're gonna talk about has got to be my favorite high-end brand of all time. It was so hard to pick five products. <laughs> like, I had a list of like 15, then it went down to 10, and I'm like, oh, can I really do five? It's just one line that has worked really well for me, for my preferences, for my skill level. It's just a very like Jenna-friendly line, you know? <laughs> So the line I'm talking about, Charlotte Tilbury, I have to talk about the first beautiful product that I think if you want to try anything, this is a really good one. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually a very beautiful multifunctional product. It has a doe foot applicator. You can use it to highlight the points of the cheek if you want. You can also use it to mix with your foundation for a beautiful glow. This is one that, I don't know, it just brings light to the face in all the right ways. It's not greasy. It doesn't look too much. I mean, you can definitely look disco Bali if you go crazy ham with it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it achieves that glow if you want to wear a foundation that's a bit more matte let's say then you know you don't have to worry about looking too flat you can add some dimension you can bring some light and if you bring light to the face it just looks like it's healthy glowy skin and almost like youthful skin you know like it looks alive so this is a beautiful product, honestly. She's recently expanded the range a little bit, which is perfect. There are so many glowy products coming out on the market, but this is one that was like the first, I think, like one of the first to the game. It is a beautiful classic from Charlotte. This one is my favorite. It is the Light Wonder Foundation. This is one that's in my top three for sure of all time. It is a medium coverage. It is a glowy product. I feel like if you wear these together, it is a bomb bomb combination. Honestly, it's great. I also love that this is one that can be buildable in certain spots if you have redness or if you have acne to cover. I love that it has a really beautiful applicator like this so it's easy to control. You can get every last bit. The shade that I have for this is Four Fair and it is probably one of my very first like foundation loves, honestly. I just love how this one makes the skin look like skin, but better. It's not too heavy. It doesn't feel like you just are wearing or you're caked on with makeup. It just blends into the skin so, so easily. And I think it's like one of the best products that Charlotte has made, honestly. I think it's just fantastic. Definitely something to check out if you are interested in her line. One thing that Charlotte is very famous for is Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is definitely something that, in my opinion, is a bestseller for a reason. She has expanded Pillow Talk to full collections. She's done a Pillow Talk Medium and a Pillow Talk Deep lipstick shade. So Pillow Talk in the Matte Revolution formulation is my third favorite product and definitely a must pick from the line if you are interested. I'm going to also swatch my second favorite shade in this line. It is very Victoria. And you'll see what I mean, how they are slightly different, not super different, but slight enough. And that's how Charlotte gets you. She makes so many beautiful lipsticks that are slightly different from each other, but they still have that beautiful same like thread of pink that's very wearable, that that's how she gets us. And I don't even care. <laughs> So we have Pillow Talk on the left, Very Victoria on the right, a very slight taupey plumminess to Very Victoria in comparison. It is so, so slight, but both of them are extremely flattering. And her Matte Revolution is also a creamy matte formulation in my opinion. I just think it stands out in the industry. It is so comfortable, makes a matte lover out of a girl like me. And this is definitely my third favorite from her brand. I have to talk about this very, very new favorite that I'm absolutely obsessed over. It is her beauty wand. This is in the shade Peach Gasm. It is the blush I'm wearing today. So, so glowy on the skin, you guys. You can also use this as a highlight if you have deeper skin tones. She also has this in like a bronzing contour stick. She has other highlight colors in this. This is a very user-friendly formulation that just blends into the skin and just like sinks in and just looks so, so good. It just looks glowy, it looks fresh, I don't know. User-friendly, like I said, you don't have to worry about messing this one up. This is Peachgasm here. I really wanted to try Pinkgasm. I've said that a couple of times on my channel, but it's been sold out everywhere. And I do worry this is going to be a discontinued item. I don't know. I just have a very scary gut feeling. So if you're able to try it, this is a good time. This is a beautiful shade for spring and summer and they just blend like a dream. When I think about Charlotte, I have to mention an eyeshadow palette. She does a great job with eyeshadow as well. She has a very interesting kind of mix of textures in each of her quads that make just bringing out your natural beauty so easy. She's got gorgeous creamy mattes, beautiful shimmers. She has a pop shade that you can use for your fingertip to just bring even more light to the lid. My absolute favorite is a discontinued product. This is coming, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It is Fire Rose, and I'm so sorry if you missed out on this one. I absolutely love it. But there is a palette that I love almost as much, and it is very, very everyday friendly. It's very subtle glam. This is Star Aura. This is truly one that because it's not super heavily like, oh my goodness, there's eyeshadow on my eyes, it really does bring out your beauty. It's cheesy, I know, but it just does it. <laughs> All of these shades on the eye are just absolutely beautiful. I love how they're so cohesive. They have beautiful shimmer to them and they just blend out so, so well. So this is definitely a beautiful 
quad to check out. I do think it's a must have if you are interested in her line because it just looks so effortlessly natural. So here we have Star Aura. You can see, look how subtle those are. They are not going to be super like distracting on the face, but they just look so, so gorgeous. So here we have them on my hand here. So pretty. The last brand we're going to talk about, you guys, it's a good one. <laughs> But this is one that I think you guys absolutely love just as much as I do, and that is Natasha Denona. It's funny, when I was thinking about which items I wanted to include in my five best, and I more so viewed it as if you are new to the brand, what's like one of the things that I would recommend to you because you don't want to just like waste your money on something, what would you suggest I get, you know, like for the newbies, basically. And eyeshadow was the first thing that came to my mind. And amongst these favorites, eyeshadow palettes are the majority. <laughs> she does make an excellent highlight. So this is the first favorite I'm going to mention to you guys. This is the I Need a Glow Glow Highlight. She makes some gorgeous highlights, honestly. So this is definitely something to be to check out, especially if you're not an eyeshadow person. This is one that is still available. There's also the All Over Body Glow product that is also super beautiful. It's like foiled, but not in a super like crazy way. So you can keep this really light if you want, or you can build it up to look super blinding. But look at that. Like that is super pretty. You can see the shimmer is just so evenly distributed there. It's not chunky glitter or anything. My first favorite from the brand. Then I was thinking about the other products that she makes, like the foundation, which I haven't tried and don't really feel like I want to try it. That sounds sad, but true. <laughs> she has lipsticks, which I do think are gorgeous, but... I don't think they're show-stopping. I don't think that it's like a Natasha Denona thing. You have to pick up a lipstick, you know? I think they're great, but the palettes are amazing. And she's very, very good at creating eyeshadow. I had to be so selective with this, but I was like, what's my favorite mini? Mini Retro, for sure. This is the first recommendation, my first favorite eyeshadow palette from Natasha and my second overall. But this is a beautiful color story. It's actually great for this season we're in, which is spring. I love this. I love the matte. I love the shimmers. I love everything about this one. It's not all pink, which is what I love about it. Like there's definitely some variations of pink and some elements of pink, but she also has added some really interesting depth to this one in different colors that are also compatible. And Natasha does a good job of finding those compatible shades that you wouldn't really expect. The quality of this mini is actually just as good as her other palettes in varying price points. So this is something that if you are interested in a Tasha palette, you don't want to splurge and like break the bank. This is definitely like the mini that I would suggest first. My next two favorites are both midi palettes. They are both from Natasha as well. Bronze is my BFF, especially in the summertime. And this is a gorgeous, I don't know, golden goddess palette. That's really what it is. It's a golden goddess palette. If you like golden, like peachy bronzy tones, this is for you. <laughs> hands down. But you can see here that this is an incredibly cohesive palette and some of these shimmers vary by very, very slight amounts, but still enough to be included in the palette to me. So there's some that are more bronze. There's some that are more peach. There's some that are louder, more shimmery. There's some that are more golden. This is also a midi price point. So it's not the most expensive palette she offers, but it's still like really good bang for your buck for this one because you do have a great variety of shades. We also have that more attractive price point, which we all appreciate, honestly. <laughs> My second midi palette, you guys know, it's glam. Oh, I'm wearing glam today. It's lovely. I love this palette. I love that there's pinky tones, there's purpley tones, there's gray silver tones. Very, very versatile with variety. And in my opinion, this offers more variety than the bronze palette would, for instance, because it really is a heavily golden theme. This is like what I dream cool tones should be. You know, like it's just so, so cohesive and there's just so many different looks that you can achieve with this. There's gorgeous creamy mattes in here. There's super nice shimmers. I don't know. I just love this palette and it's been a bestseller amongst you guys ever since it got released. I think everybody is obsessed. So this one is definitely one that I recommend as the best of her brand. Out of her big palettes, and there's so many big palettes, I narrowed it down to one because this is one that is truly unique to me. The finishes are unique and she was able to really grab a concept and diversify it so well. And it's very like artistic sounding that I say that, but she's really grabbed the gold aspect and really, really diversified and expanded this to the point where it just looks 
amazing. Like, I don't know how she was able to do this many gold textures and shimmers and finishes, but I personally think this is so, so beautiful and it's definitely worth the splurge in my opinion, but if you love gold, right? You gotta love gold. This one has gorgeous mattes to really root your look in and then you can just build that gold impact from there. There's duochrome golds, there's shimmery golds, there's yellow golds, white golds, bronze gold. Like it just has such a variety and to me, you buy all sorts of different formulations in this palette. So I absolutely love what she's done with this one. And I do think that it is truly unique and really like a, a showstopper in her line. Which brands would you like to see included in my next video? I'm thinking of doing like a little mini series of this because I really did enjoy filming it and I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Until my next one, take care guys and stay safe. Bye guys.